Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about the earth element of creation in Vedic astrology. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I am your host Prasad Mahajani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic astrology. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You will be getting Vedic astrological videos just like this one that will help you understand your own horoscope. Okay, and if you are interested into the detailed analysis, please go to my website where I will give you the detailed analysis of your horoscope. Okay, I read all the comments on my videos and try to reply to them as many comments as I can. Coming back to the point, coming back to today's topic. Today we are going to talk about the earth element. Earth element corresponds to the house 2, 6 and 10. The root of earth element lies into Capricorn. The earth element is very solid, grounded and practical element. If you have more and more planets into the sign of 2, 6, 10, you are very practical, grounded and solid. These people have a tendency to take a practical action. They are very practical because they are on earth. So they have a unique perspective about earth which very few people have. Like in, uh, like in case of Moksha Trikon houses or water element sign, they are very dreamy and out of the world but they can't relate to earth. But this is not the case with the earth element people. Earth element person relates to earth because he is grounded. He can see it from the earth. And that's why his perspective is very unique and really makes sense. Everybody listens when a earth element person talks. Okay. Strength is another characteristics uh, another characteristics <laughs> another characteristic of the earth element person they are very strong they have this unique ability to absorb what is good and ignore or let go what is not good for them just like when we put seed into the soil it takes the nutrition that is the quality of the earth earth element earth element side this is not like water i am referring to water element for the second time because earth element is opposite to the water element water element houses are 4 8 12 and artha element houses are 2 6 10 2 is opposite to 8 4 is opposite to 10 6 is opposite to 12 the root of the earth element is 10 root of the water element is 4 they are opposite to each other like this second 10 and 6 12 4 and 8 boom just like this earth element is healthy when it comes to strength the other the characteristics of the earth element is they are very healthy because they are full of resources second house sixth house 10 house or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all they have in common is they are very uh, industrious, hardworking, but apart from it, they are very uh, alert when it comes to financial aspect of your life. They are committed towards making the tangible resources to manifest in their life. Yes, this is very interesting. Earth element is very healthy is very wealthy what is nature nature is earth's wealth and when it comes to person the person is very healthy is very strong is very strong willed is very um, hard-headed is very determined all the characteristics of the earth element earth element is very um, committed earth element is very predictable they are the earth element person will always be there for you earth element person is very reliable they are steadfast they are 
committed and will always be there for you. Earth element is very practical in nature. They are not dreamers like water element. They are very practical. Earth element has the greatest of endurance. They are unstoppable. They are earth element. Okay. And that is the reason why Mars gets exalted into the sign of Capricorn, the earth element sign. Even though Saturn is the enemy of Mars, it gets exalted. That is because of this element. Mars gets exalted at the root of the earth element. Moon gets exalted in Taurus or you can say in Multricon. And Jupiter gets exalted at the water element which is the Mokshatrikon root. Sun gets exalted at Aries which is the root of the fire element. And Saturn gets exalted at the Libra which is the root of the air element. Yes! I'm loving this. So coming back to the water element. Water element is very resourceful just like nature. They are very fertile. They are very abundant. So yes. And if you observe the earth element, Rashis and houses, that is 2, 6 and 10, all these houses are all about the outward, tangible, practical things which we are supposed to achieve in this life. Like what is second house? It's about money. What is sixth house? Is about your daily routines, your work. What is tenth house? Your outer life, your public, your highest point of karma, just before lava and after the bhagya. Okay. So earth element is very much everybody can relate to. So when these people start speaking, they start making sense to everybody because they are grounded and speaking from the earth's perspective. But when a water element Pisces or a Cancer person starts speaking, they are into the other subtle realms of this life which very few people can tap into. It is very difficult for others to really understand what exactly they are feeling. Earth element corresponds to house number 2, house number 6, house number 10. And the Taurus Rashi, Virgo and the Capricorn Rashi. That is Makar Rush. Earth element is ruled by Mercury. Earth element is all about the basic securities. Earth element is very practical. Mercury is very practical. Mercury is not like a Jupiter wherein it is all about the higher beliefs. Which is a higher belief is something which is very subjective and everybody has to experience on their own. Mercury is not interested into the higher belief. They are more interested into the real, real life scenarios, like what's happening right now, right here on Earth. So Mercury is all about the basic necessities and the, our insecurities and the securities not insecurities it's all about our securities mercury make sure that we are uh, safe and secure it always think about the defense mechanism they will think about uh, do i have money to survive in this world i will have to buy this i will have to pay fees i will have to pay my expenses i will have to pay bills mercury is always into business and networking they are very much they are very practical they are very practical. Earth element person is very practical. If you talk to him about life beyond the death, dreams and all that spiritual stuff, he'll be bored. He'll be more interested into the books he has read or maybe the film he has watched or maybe any piece of information he has and would like to share with others. So let's summarize the earth element. Earth element is ruled by Mercury. Earth element is very grounded. Earth element is very healthy. Earth element denotes the strength. Earth element is all about the wealth and abundance. Earth element corresponds to house number 2, 6 and 10. 
Earth element corresponds to the Rashi 2, 6 and 10, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Sidereal. Earth element is very reliable, practical and grounded. Earth element has a unique perspective about life, which is to look from the earth. Okay, so he has an authority when he speaks and everybody listens when an earth element person talks. Okay, because it makes sense immediately. This was my analysis about the earth element. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You will be getting Vedic astrological videos just like this one. Please share this video with your friends and family. Keep watching Pramanic Astrology channel. Hit that like button and 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 sending you high vibrations. See you in the next video. Love and peace.